So hi, my name is Wesley Cannon. I'm a stand-up comedian living in New York City. Uh, little town blues. Uh, this is the first episode of my video blog that I'm creating for my website, www.wesleycannon.com. Uh, today I'm here in Chelsea, New York City, to get a haircut. Um, as you may can tell, I'm sporting a little bit of a blogo look, um, and I did receive a phone call from him this morning, and he wants his hairstyle back. So, along with that, and uh, wanting to look a little bit cuter for the spring, I'm here to get a haircut, and I'm going to have you follow me for this event. So, come along. flowers. So no luck here. They want to charge $65 plus tip, um, which I refuse to do uh, because I'm here in Chelsea and I could probably find a really good hooker for less than that. So I'm not willing to pay that much money for a haircut. Okay, so I'm here with Cesar. Um, how long have you been cutting here, Cesar? Around 10 years. 10 years, 10 years. And how long have you been working here? Four months. Four months. Mm -hmm. And there's a grand opening sign, so have you been grand opening for four months, or is this...? It's, yeah, actually, it's around four months. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, and is this all your, all, all your price, $15? Yes, it is your price. price. Okay, okay. And do you like working in Chelsea? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah? What percentage of your clientele would you say is gay men? Most of them. Most of them. Okay. Uh, can I ask you, uh, your sexuality? Are you straight, gay? I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't want to. Okay, okay. So I want to kind of keep my length, but I want it to be stylish. Um, I want something that's cute and fun and flirty, but butch. Um, not as butch as Rosie O'Donnell. Um, not so butch that I get lesbians hitting on me. Should I be nervous or am I fine? No? I just want to let you know, uh, back here on this side, uh, I have a mold. Inherited, I inherited it from my mother, along with my love of men and alcohol. So what do you hate the most about cutting gay men's hair? Because they can be very big and can't they? No, really? You think it's because they're attracted to you? But they don't say anything? Not really. Really? Do you get hit on a lot by gay men? Do you get hit on a lot by gay men? No. No? Wow, shocking. So where are you from originally? Mexico. Mexico. How long have you been here? Around 10 years. 10 years. Oh. New York was your first place? Yeah. Are you looking for all That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So how do you feel about feathered hair? Feathered hair. Like Farrah Fawcett. Do you know who Farrah Fawcett is? From the 80s? Big 80s hairstyle. Looks like a duck's ass. So what do you like to do for fun? Do you like to drink? No? I do. I get drunk a lot. So you're doing pretty well in front of the camera. Do you do any acting? No? Do you have any dreams that no one knows about? Like, do you want to be a singer, an actor? A lot of people have a hidden agenda for coming to New York City. No, not really. No? no. Uh, not too long ago, I was serenaded by a mariachi band waiting for the bus. Can you believe that? I kid you not. And then there was a lady selling nachos next to them. <laughs> I know that was great, because as a gay man, I love dinner theater. I really love it a lot. What about that show? El Gordo y la Flaca. Where are they from? Miami. Where are they from originally? Do they have an accent? Cubans. Cubans, okay. So what do Mexicans think of Cubans? Did you get along? What do Mexicans think of Cubans? 
Uh, people. Yes. They're people? Okay. Even though they're communists? Okay, okay. Yeah, I like them too. I like Gloria Stefan a lot. You like Gloria Stefan? John Sakata, or do you like John Sakata? What kind of music do you like to listen to? Rock music. Rock music, okay. Do you like Britney Spears? No. No, me either. No. She's a little bit trash. She's from the South, just like me. But, uh, I can't judge her. I can't judge her. We don't really have much to do in the South but have sex, so I understand why she had two babies so young. I haven't had sex in like three months. You think it's because of the hair? You think so? Okay, now, now you're being bitchy. I like that. So this is the first time anyone's done this with you? Film you while you're putting their hand? Really? So I popped your cherry, basically. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know if I told you or not, but I have a mole back here. Um, it's pretty big. Um, I just want to make sure you know it's very painful if you hit it. Oh my god, what was that? Is it bleeding? No. Okay, you need to be careful back there, Cesar. It's my special spot. <laughs> but I have trouble growing in facial hair, isn't that funny? I can grow hair on my ass like no tomorrow, but when it comes to my face, nothing. I get that from my father. Oh. What do you think about the top? We think about layering it. Or do you think it looks good being one uniform length like that? You think it's good like that? Okay. Because, uh, I'm going to come back and do a follow-up. If I don't get laid within two weeks of this haircut, we're going to have to talk to each other. You have to be cheating when you live in New York City. Say Sarge just left. I don't know, is he dating a Cuban? I have no idea. <laughs> Are you using a razor blade? Is that a new razor blade? New blade. Okay, very good. Do you know Pam Anderson? Pam Anderson? Yeah. Oh yeah, you know her. What do you think? Think her boobs are too big? Yeah? Yeah, me too. Did you see Beauty and the Beast? No. No. Have you ever been to Disneyland, Disney World? No? It's awesome, you should go. Yeah? It's like Chelsea, nothing but gay men. Oh wow. Is this chloroform? Menthol. Menthol, oh, nice. That's not a good idea. I might start smoking now. <laughs> oh wow, that's really nice. Not many places do that. Oh wow. I bet you're very good at dating. If I dated someone who did that, I would move in the next day. You should be a sculptor or something. You're very good with your hands. I said, does Paul and Mitchell know who you are? Yeah. They do? Nice. In the company knows. But you've got some clout, they saw. I just underestimated you. So here I am, I got my hair cut. The goal of today's video blog. It doesn't look very different than when I walked in. Um, he was very hot, very sexy, uh, kept me entertained. Cesar was extremely hot, a little timid, but very sexy. I'm hoping maybe he'll view this video, contact me, and um, maybe we can take things a little further. I'm not too happy with the hairstyle, although I didn't give Cesar much direction to go with. Um, I just think I look like a more tidy version of Blagojevich. Um, Cesar was very polite, very willing to go along, a little bit shy, uh, but I think he had a good time. Uh, hopefully he'll go to my website, maybe call me uh, for a little one-on-one. -on -one. So, uh, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed my first video blog and stay tuned to uh, www.westlycannon.com for more. Thank you.